is Dana Castro, and I'm the laboratory manager here at Brookhaven Instruments. In this video, I will show you how simple it is to run a zeta potential measurement on our nanobrook line of zeta potential instruments. Prepare a sample. First, I will be measuring a negatively charged reference material we call ZR5. It is a suspension of ink particles that gives a repeatable value for zeta potential. Now, take a zeta potential electrode like this one. This electrode can be used to measure the zeta potential of any aqueous suspension. We also offer an electrode for organic samples. Fill a disposable cuvette about a third of the way with sample. Then, carefully insert the electrode so that there are no bubbles formed and that the space between the two palladium electrodes is completely filled with solution. Take the prepared assembly and place it into the cell holder of the nanobrook and plug in the electrode. We offer two methods of zeta potential measurement. Electrophoretic light scattering, also known as ELS, or phase analysis light scattering, also known as PALS. PALS is a more sensitive method that's especially useful for tougher samples that have high salt concentrations or low mobility. Let's set up a PALS measurement. Using the software suite particle solutions, we will set some basic parameters such as sample ID, preparation notes, measurement length, and important parameters about the sample, such as these. Once this is completed, we can begin the measurement. Click the start button and the measurement will begin collecting live data. The phase shift curve is immediately seen and averaged out as data is collected over time. You can also see the live measurement of data potential and mobility throughout the measurement. Once the set of measurements is complete, you can review the results and change any parameters as well as see statistics on a set of measurements. This is an example of an ELS measurement. Instead of a phase shift like we saw in PALS, here we see a Doppler shift. We also have a positively charged sample called ZR6 that is fabric softener based, and these are the results. The positive charge is seen by the positive slope of the PALS curve. Clean up the sample. Just dispose of your sample properly, and the cubette can be tossed in the trash. And that's it. Zeta potential measurements are simple with our Nanobrook line of zeta potential instruments, along with our particle solution software speed. Please check out our website to see our full line of zeta potential analyzers. We make a variety of models to fit your budget and specific zeta potential measurement needs. Thanks for watching.